Here we have linear gearbox uh, uh, made uh, using Lego Mindstorms NXT version 2. We have uh, two motors connected to it. One motor, this one is switches gears, so we can see that when we are rotating, we are switching gears. This is linear gearbox, so it doesn't require to stop to switch the gears, right? And the gears ratio is switched between the this motor rotating the lower level and uh, this motor switching to and connecting to this uh, other level. So they are independent if I will uh, rotate uh, here to the neutral and we are between gears. So let me do this. Let me connect and rotate to the neutral. Yeah, here for example we are in neutral because we don't touch any gears with the top level. So now we can see that this was completely independent. If we connect, you will see that can motor can turn, but only reverse turns because it's connected. If I will rotate even more, even re reverse disconnects. Yeah, now in between those gears, so both are independent. So by switching the uh, moving this uh, 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 switching position, we are um, connecting. Uh, uh, gears with different ratio and then that's how we get that kind of behavior. So let's run our uh, Lego model connected to Magic Draw, this uh, transmission gearbox controller uh, modeled in the state machine diagram, uh, uh, block definition diagram, user interface diagram to, to control this uh, gearbox which is connected uh, to the model through the API for the Lego. So we run the, in different states, we run different uh, scripts to, to switch from one uh, gear to another gear and to rotate the model, motor. Uh, this is, is done using the standard camera uh, systems modeler capability sim uh, the simulation toolkit to execute uh, uh, one of the supported uh, scripting languages like JavaScript, uh, uh, Ruby, Groovy, Python uh, uh, on the uh, entering the state in the state, or exiting the state on the transition, the standard ways uh, where the behaviors and uh, opaque behaviors can be run. So I will execute this model and we see user interface and now I will switch to, to the gear to the reverse. Uh, so I will click the reverse button and we see that the reverse uh, is uh, in executable. Now I will connect my motor switching gears. Now you will see that once I will click neutral it will uh, move the linear gearbox uh, uh, to the position where no, none of the gears are connected to the motor. And that's how we can get a neutral. Now, when we switch on the reverse, it will reverse back. If we will switch on the drive, it will switch to the driving where based on RPM, uh, which is increased automatically here, we will get uh, switching between gears. This could be different kind of uh, characteristics which we track. As you know, the gearbox depends on many characteristics uh, when we switch the gears, but this is done by the controller. So we just imitate the controller and the model. So we have first gear running. Once RPM will reach 2500, change event will switch to the second gear and that will send the motor information how many degrees to rotate in what direction and if we will switch to neutral based on the gear which is uh, uh, at the moment uh, and, uh, we would uh, rotate uh, back uh, uh, as many degrees as needed to switch to neutral position so we can be very precise because um, uh, 
uh, this uh, Lego motors are servo motors, so they uh, are operated based on the single degree. Uh, and we can uh, tell, you know, like 5000 degrees to rotate, and that's like much more precise than than uh, we need in this model. So now neutral. Now let's take a look how this model was created. Actually how the interface with LEGO is uh, controlled. So here we have the standard state machine diagram and uh, we have a library of opaque uh, uh, behaviors. So here we can see the specification. This is uh, opaque behavior. And the opaque behavior has the body and language field where we can um, execute, uh, uh, paste some code in specific language and that is now we are using JavaScript and here we see this uh, this is standard API for this um, uh, integration it's pretty much very simple it uh, has a uh, few functions like a, a start stop motor if we use start motor then we say in uh, which motor and how strong and how many degrees we will rotate and in what direction if it is minus here so then it's in uh, another direction that, um, and um, here in this case uh, you see the uh, conditional statement because uh, to switch from the driving to neutral because we want to depending on the gear if we are in first gear second gear fifth gear this is linear gearbox right so it needs to rotate the, the uh, switch uh, from the uh, specific gear to the neutral uh, more or less depends on which gear in which gear it, uh, it is so that's why we, this uh, drive to neutral has this conditional statement in simple cases we don't have this conditional statement so for example like uh, let's take this um, like uh, uh, reverse from the parking to reverse uh, and on reverse we will execute here something so I have here reverse opaque uh, behavior and here it is uh, sw sets the gear to R so this is just a property in the block and then the uh, API to run the operation to rotate the motor. Here we see this start run motor 0, 100 uh, and this is rotation, right? So we will uh, rotate this uh, motor based on the gear and then uh, when we switch here, so we are rotating in each of the, uh, in each of the states. And between states we are switching the gears so here we see this uh, from the reverse to neutral so reverse to neutral reverse to neutral here we have this one so from reverse to neutral we are still rotating the main motor as the engine this one and we are switching the gear so first motor is the gear switch 100 percent strength and then uh, 1700 degrees to rotate and then uh, when we want to apply those, uh, so we have this library, we can modify, we can create new ones. And then when we want to apply, we drag and drop. So for example, like here in parking, if we want that, uh, uh, we don't have anything here, but when we switch to parking, we want that motor will stop, right? So here we have this uh, created um, in the parking that we would uh, run the, uh, we set the P gear, and then we run the API to, um, stop the motor so motor run stop and then number of motor uh, then uh, number indicating which motor so now i will drag and drop here and i will choose that on entry this parking the first motor uh, zero motor this is the motor who uh, who is the engine in my case uh, will stop now when we are in the reverse i want that this one will uh, will rotate so i will drag it here enter on entry so here we see that on reverse uh, it will rotate so uh, full strength 300 uh, as as long as it is needed so this is pretty much by saying that it's 360 
thousand degrees this is as long as the because this is not motor number zero right and then neutral same uh, and then driving driving is the same so we created this library which we can reuse now uh, in other places and this gives us ability to not to overcrowd the model with the code and uh, at the same time keep this uh, those functions to rotate the motors and reusable and uh, uh, coming from the library <coughs> 